There are around 8 billion people alive today, and we humans are having a massive negative effect on the planet. The increase in human population has led to a huge loss of biodiversity, and by burning fossil fuels we have caused climate change, and an increase in natural disasters. Some of the world's most iconic animals only have populations in the hundreds of thousands, the tens of thousands, and some only have populations in the hundreds. The animals that are certainly not at risk are the livestock animals, as some of these animals have populations that are larger than the human population. This just illustrates the effects that we have on animals and on the planet, and this rate of growth in the livestock population is not sustainable. We first started domesticating animals around 15,000 years ago, and since then we have selectively bred and mutated animals for our needs. Some have been selectively bred to increase meat yield, and some have been selectively bred to increase milk yield. Raising livestock has a massive negative effect on the ecosystem, as it contributes to global warming, land degradation, air and water pollution, and loss of biodiversity. Large wild areas are cleared to make room for livestock, and livestock animals are one of the main factors behind human-wildlife conflict. Many farms and grazing areas encroach on wild animal habitats, and many of these wild animals will choose to prey on the livestock. This often results in the farmers retaliating, and sometimes killing the wild animals. This sort of conflict can be seen over many parts of Africa and India, and it shows no sign of stopping. Although we like to think that the majority of our meat comes from free-range farms, this is often not the truth. In the UK, 90% of all chickens reared for meat are kept indoors, and only 8% are reared in a free-range system, and only 2% are reared as organic. In the US, it's a very similar story, as the Humane Society of the United States found that on many industrial dairy farms, cows are subjected to cruel treatment, including repeated impregnation, forced overproduction of milk, restrictive confinement, and poor nutrition. If we want a better future, we will have to change the way that we farm, and also change what we eat. In today's video, I will be going through six livestock animals with the largest global populations, and I will be going through the countries that have the largest numbers of these animals. The first domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the pig. Pigs are considered to be a subspecies of the wild boar, and it's estimated that they were first domesticated around 10,000 years ago. Today, there are hundreds of pig breeds, and each of these breeds differs in shape, size, and color. Pigs are omnivorous animals, and they're known for their surprising intelligence. They are primarily farmed for the production of meat, and in some parts of the world, they are known to interbreed with wild boar. Just like with many other domesticated animals, the pig is listed as an invasive species in many parts of the world, and if they become feral and compete with native species, they can cause major problems. There are an estimated 967 million domesticated pigs on this planet today, and the majority of these animals can be found in Brazil, the United States, and China. As pork is not eaten over large areas of North Africa and the Middle East, they are almost completely absent from these areas, and this is mostly due down to religious reasons. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the goat. Goats were originally domesticated from the wild goat, and once again this happened around 10,000 years ago. Thankfully, domesticated goats look very similar to their wild counterparts, and they're relatively healthy livestock animals. Goats are very closely related to sheep, and today there are over 300 distinct breeds of goat. They are farmed for their milk, meat, fur and skins, and today there are a shocking number of them. It's estimated that there are around a billion domesticated goats on this planet today, and this means that there are around 8 people per one domesticated goat. The countries that have the majority of the domesticated goats are Nigeria, India, and China, and they seem to be most popular across Africa and Asia. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the duck. The name duck can refer to wild and domesticated animals, but the majority of domesticated ducks are considered to be a subspecies of mallard. They were first domesticated around 6,000 years ago, and thankfully once again they look very similar to their wild counterparts. Some of these birds are kept for show as pets or for their ornamental value, but the vast majority are farmed for their meat, their eggs, and their feathers. Almost all domesticated ducks are descended from the mallard, 
but the domestic Muscovy duck is one exception. It's estimated that there are around 1.2 billion domesticated ducks on this planet today, and an overwhelming majority are found in Asia. The countries with the most domesticated ducks are Bangladesh, Vietnam and China. And there are over 10 times more ducks in China than there are people in the UK. This once again illustrates the effect that we have on the planet, and no wild duck species has a population this large. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the sheep. Once again, sheep were first domesticated around 10,000 years ago, and they were believed to be first domesticated from an animal that doesn't look very much like a sheep at all. This just shows us how much the domesticated sheep has changed over the years, and today sheep are among the most diverse domesticated animals in the world. Some sheep breeds appear to be more wild than others, and some have been selectively bred for our needs. Sheep are raised for their wool, their meat and their milk, and today they are farmed all over the world. It's estimated that there are around 1.2 billion domesticated sheep on this planet today, but they are thought to have a slightly larger population than the domesticated duck. The countries that have the most domesticated sheep are India, Australia and China, but famously Wales and New Zealand are home to more sheep than people. The next domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the cow. It's estimated that cows were first domesticated around 10,500 years ago, but unfortunately the animal that they were domesticated from is now extinct. Cattle of course exhibit sexual dimorphism, as males are larger and far more aggressive than the females. Cows contribute greatly to global warming, as many of the gases that they produce are greenhouse gases. Today there are over a thousand breeds of cattle, and these cows are bred either for meat or for dairy. There are an estimated 1.5 billion cattle on this planet today, and the countries that have the most cattle are the United States, India and Brazil. Cattle are really found in astonishing numbers, but there is one livestock animal above them. The final domesticated animal we will be taking a look at is the chicken. Chickens were first domesticated around 7,000 to 10,000 years ago, and they were originally domesticated from the red jungle fowl. Over the years, they were hybridised with other jungle fowl species, and of course today we have selectively bred them into many different shapes and sizes. Many of these birds are kept as pets or they're only kept for their eggs, but the vast majority are farmed for their meat, and they are often treated very poorly. When an animal is treated as a product, its welfare goes out the window, and this is exactly what's happened to chickens all over the world. It really is a shame that they're treated this way, and there are far more chickens on this planet than there are people. It's estimated that there are around 26 billion chickens on this planet today, and the countries that have the most chickens are the United States, Indonesia and China. Chickens are one of the few animals that have a larger population than humans, and as the human population grows, so will the chicken population. I know this is quite a depressing video, but I feel like it's an important topic and I promise my next video will be more upbeat. But for now, thank you for watching. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.